Are you wondering what to do with all those turkey leftovers from Thanksgiving? We came up with a really good idea we tried this year and I think it was a big hit. Maybe even a bigger hit than Thanksgiving dinner itself. We made Thanksgiving leftover pie. There's a really special pie crust I found, tortillere crust, and we'll um, share the recipe in the comments. Uh, but this is definitely one worth checking out. Watch the video and make it yourself. Tell me what you think. If you like farm life videos, homemade, homegrown food, fun projects around the yard, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hi guys, so here I am making pie crust for the Thanksgiving leftover pie. I'm using my food processor to mix up the dough and I use ice cold water. It helps make the dough come together better but still be easy to roll out. I'm a big fan of this pie crust recipe because it rolls out so nice and easily. I stole it from a French Canadian Christmas pie tortillere. You want to add only just enough water to make the dough come together. Too much water and your dough will be sticky. And you'll throw a hissy fit like the dad from A Christmas Story when he's trying to fix the furnace. I've seen her throw pie crust across the room. Before you roll out your dough, make sure you put plenty of flour on the counter so your dough doesn't stick. Divide your pie crust dough into two balls. Set the first ball in the fridge to chill while you roll out the second ball to be the bottom crust for your pie. forget to flour your rolling pen before you start trying to roll out your dough. I like to flip the dough and rotate it 90 degrees every so often so that it doesn't stick to the counter or I can tell if it's starting to get sticky. set you can roll your dough out over the pie pan pull up on the edges a little bit so that it sits down nice and deep all the way to the bottom and the sides of the pie pan now I'm rolling over the edges so that I don't have dangling pie crust.
And now for the filling. Take a couple good sized scoops of mashed potatoes and mine were a day old because this is leftover pie so I added a little bit of milk to moisten them back up. stir in your cubed up turkey leftovers. Put your mashed potato and turkey mixture into the pie pan and press it down to make room for more Thanksgiving goodness. Next, I'll add some sweet potatoes. Now, I want every slice of my leftover pie to have a little bit of everything from Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm spreading the sweet potatoes out in little patches around the pie. And that leaves me some space to add the corn souffle. This is going all over. stuffing. We're almost done. Now we can get that second ball of chilled pie dough and roll it out for the top crust. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. your rolling pin to move your pie dough over the top of the pie. 
and pulling the edges back up so that I can overlap the top crust over the edges of the pie to help stop boil out of the filling and the gravy. Fields with you and flowers everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name One thing I know is that I'm using a little bit of water here to help seal the top and bottom layers of the pie crust together and then I fold it over and pinch it to help make a seal. To make the edges look pretty, you can go around and flute the edges. And don't forget to cut a vent in the top of the pie. This is important. You can be fancy or simple, doesn't matter. Although with the gravy, I recommend simple. I think I tried to get a little bit too elaborate. Now for an egg wash. Crack a whole egg and beat it a little bit. You can use this to brush the whole top of your pie and it gives the pie a really beautiful golden shiny crust that will impress yourself and your family. What if your sweetness could reach everyone there being awards? Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope This pie bakes short and hot, 30 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And since the filling is already cooked, meat that works out perfectly. I think this pie is a winner. What do you got there, Ivan? Um, this pie. What is it? Meat pie. Leftover um, Thanksgiving meat pie. Thanksgiving leftover pie. 